Hi everybody, Matthias here. Today we're checking out Smart Comp 2 by Sonable. I just downloaded a 30 day free trial from their website and I can say that this compressor really kicks the competition out the window. I just gave Smart Comp 2 a little ride here on my track Skating Stars and yeah, let's just dive in here, see what kind of controls we have and see what we can do to the compression of this track. Let's take the tour. Right, so this is Smart Comp 2, and uh, unlike your regular compressor, this uh, works across uh, a multitude of bands, so you will have something called spectral compression. Smart Comp 2 has this AI functionality which will uh, analyze your source material and suggest a compression curve for uh, your music. It will also scan your frequency spectrum and suggest how to apply compression across uh, the different frequencies. So it works uh, with a quite fine granularity to uh, apply the compression. And the first thing that meets us when booting the plugin is actually a tutorial which uh, explains uh, in quite nice detail how, how this plugin works. So let's uh, pop up the tutorial again, take the tour. Content aware processing automatic uh, parametrization, intelligent compression. So you get started by analyzing the input signal and then we can select a suitable profile. So maybe you will have this compressor work across the mix like a master compressor or maybe just for a guitar, vocals or keyboard. Sonibel also recommends you to analyze across a quite loud section of the track. So we will run this on the chorus of our track. And after the learning, our spectral compression will be activated. And then we have some fine controls for the curve. We can actually adjust uh, like uh, the curve for the attack and uh, also an intelligent auto release. And on the release here, we can also adjust the curve, which can be really nice if you're working with like, with, like a sharp transient material. And we can fine tune the spectral compression with this uh, knobs on the bottom here and choose uh, the spectrum across where the spectral compression will be applied. So maybe you just wanted to work on a specific like the mid range or or the high end or only the bass. Right, so let's uh, let's go. Okay, so let's go to a busy part of the track. We have this uh, chorus part. <laughs> And this is my track Skating Stars, which is uh, actually already released, so you can go and check it out on Spotify and other streaming services. Right, so let's play that part and activate this uh, learning. So it already gives us a, a quite nice glue to the mix here. And we have this set to the universal mode. Maybe just go ahead here and set it to an electronic mix because uh, that's uh, like what this track uh, is. <laughs> So here I'm actually using a second preset to uh, like use it in bypass mode, but you also have this bypass button at the bottom here. But it also works to just jump to another empty preset. And we also have input writing so we can make sure that uh, the plugin will adjust the volume so that uh, the compression will work uh, at the optimal place of, of the audio. <laughs> So when we have uh, SmartCom 2 running, we can see the gain reduction in red here. So we're doing like 4 dB of uh, compression. Okay, so the plugin has analyzed our source material. So let's now play back the track here and do a little bit of adjustments on uh, these knobs for uh, the spectral compression. So we can go from uh, clean to dirty here in the style parameter, which will lead to a more tight and punchy sound. And we can adjust how much of the spectral compression that will happen and, and a little, little bit of color here for, to make the mix more dark or more bright. So let's see if we can improve 
or how much we can improve the mixer with SmartCom 2. <laughs> So we can uh, hear here that um, during uh, this uh, more uh, dynamic part or with less uh, like a volume, we need to be careful about the style here because if we have this set to the dirty mode, you can hear a little bit of buzz there, like uh, analog saturation happening. And for like some tracks, it might be nice, but I think for this track, I want to have a little bit more pure sound in, in this breakdown and mid section. So I would probably have to make some automation and reduce this uh, compression, uh, the spectral compression slightly here during the breakdown. So let's uh, hear that part again. <laughs> Right, so I think that this is a really, really nice uh, compression result on uh, on the track here, especially if we drag down the style on the breakdown, because uh, I really like the style at a higher setting during uh, like the chorus parts, because it really adds uh, tightness and, and a grip to the mix. This like uh, almost analog saturation, and it just sounds fabulous compared to uh, your regular compressors. And I think SmartCom 2 is really nice from a visual perspective because uh, we can easily see here where on the transients the compression is happening and uh, the ratio and we can adjust the threshold and the ratio like at the same time here which is a really handy thing if you're if you want to do a quick really quick compression edits and uh, 
I don't think I've seen this before, but the compression on the left side here, so we can see exactly where on the on the transients or or the peaks we're we're compressing. <laughs> Right, so there you have it. That's the Smart Comp 2 compressor. And uh, I mean, I really, really like the result here from just playing around with it a little bit here on my track Skating Stars. And I feel that uh, you can really do a lot of things, uh, both with uh, like adding a little bit of saturation and multiband compression and your like master compressor on, on the tracks. So uh, maybe we can just uh, rule out a couple of other plugins here in my master plugin chain here and only have like SmartCom to do the overall sound molding for, for this track. And then just put like a final peak limiter at the end of the chain. Okay, so that's SmartCom 2. I recommend that you go ahead and download this plugin yourself and make your own impression. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feedback. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. My name is Matthias. See you in the next video. Bye.